it's pink hey, production. Let your light shine. Oh, the with, um, <laughs> let your light We're shine. We're here in Garden Grove, here. California. With Zero C. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> And, and today we're Steve at Steve will recommend this place actually. It's called Azteca Mexican Azteca Restaurant. Hugh Hauser has been here years ago. And it's Elvis. We've never been here, but we're going to check it out and you'll see why we're here to check it out. So enjoy. <laughs> I saw it from the back end the last time we were in the parking lot. We didn't actually come here, but I had no idea what this was. But as you see, there's Elvis up there. All right, let's go in. All right, he's going to show us booth number one that started this whole entire Elvis thing. So what, this is meat in here. Is this part of the restaurant too, or is this more of the bar? Oh, okay. Is it right there? Oh, okay. That's really neat. How are you doing? You good? good. This is neat in here. I love the bar here. Sorry, I just wanted to grab just a quick little... Gosh, I wish I could belly up to the bar today. I mean, this is really neat in here. All right, Lauren, you ready? Let's turn around. I love that. Stained glass, too. All right, can you go that way? And I'm going to turn around and just try to grab as much as I can of this area. Oh, yeah, up here, too. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, Elvis threw up all over. Yeah, <laughs> you think? <laughs> wow. Okay. He's on the wall, too. Oh, yeah, I'm up there. Yeah, I saw Hugh Hauser. He was here. All right, now we're going to walk over to our area. I am glad I asked about that booth because that place is, oh, it's all done up over here, too everywhere. Wow. Can't get enough of Elvis. How cute is that? The kids plate. The kids plate menu. Kids plate menu. The kids menu. And it's Elvis, but prices are good too. The Pokemon. And Pokemon. It's Eevee. This Pikachu. I'm not sure who that is. Um, but yeah. That's cool. I like that. Put that on, walk around. This is neat. Look at that. So the bathroom is a water closet. Everywhere you see is Elvis out here. And uh, apparently this restaurant wasn't always on the main drag of Garden Grove. It was uh, in a different spot, not that far from the actual where it is now. Um, it says back in 1957, the first Azteca Mexican restaurant was opened by a lady, they call her Aunt Connie, on Garden Grove Boulevard. A short distance from here, but her lifelong ambition was to own a restaurant on what is now historic Main Street, and she fulfilled that dream in 1980. And uh, okay, so her uh, nephew, they go, he goes by JJ. He became fascinated by Elvis when he would watch it on the old black and white TV, and so that framed picture that I was noting in the bar area, the booth number one where the couple was. Um, that was the first framed picture that started all of this. So he just kept collecting and adding more and more and more. Originally it was uh, before he started doing Elvis stuff, it had a lot of cool relics in here anyway that she would like to decorate it. So had a lot of collector of antiques is what it says here. And uh, also there was a, Hugh Hauser did a whole episode on this. And the guy that was at the booth said he was actually in the show in the background. So there's a picture and here he is sitting there in the background. So he's uh, definitely a regular at this place. Now it did say um, that Aunt Connie handed this over to JJ in, I believe it was 1993. And then in 2014 it was sold to a new lady named Jennifer. Uh, but JJ still has not left the building, is what they said. So he's still around, he comes here frequently, he says he still owns and is the landlord of the Azteca location. And so of course nothing's changed just because it changed owners. So right next to us are these posters that we get to enjoy. 
two entrances to the bar. We went that way the first time and then there's one right by the front door. Is that Lisa Marie? There you go. And again, the ceilings are all done up as Elvis. Carousel horse. We have him playing on the TV. Here's the other entrance to the bar. Entertainment. Oh, and my favorite of all people, lounge singers, Phil Shane. Apparently, they do an Elvis day here down the main street. All these Elvis impersonators walk around the streets like a parade, basically. And Phil Shane comes here. I'll show you a picture of him right now. So yeah, this is the first time we've been here, but I don't think it'll be our last time because uh, I really like these kind of places. Oh, look at that. Steve, I'll mention the backside. This is what we saw originally when we parked here, um, I don't know, a year ago for his company employee party thing. And uh, just kind of glanced over here. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then we just walked over to the company's party. But this is the backside. And the front side also has an Elvis that I want to grab a better shot of when we leave. So I need to find more of these interesting restaurants. They are definitely fun to visit. And they're very friendly here. They don't mind you taking pictures and video. I like that. Because you're bringing in more people by doing this. So, here we are hauling. Coming in from the back side. So you can see the ceiling too. Look at that. Alright, food's here. So I ordered the two, just two tacos a la carte. And we did, uh, well, we did this on the side because Lauren just wanted a cheese quesadilla and it had guacamole and sour cream on the side and we love that stuff. So we thought, hey, put that to the side, my friend. Steve had a tostada salad, right? Tostada salad. And then last but certainly not least, um, I got Mexican food. Oh, wait, no. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Cheeseburger with Mexican rice. There you go. Yum. Yeah. They cater to everybody, which is really nice. Yeah, look this way. What's this way? Steve. I don't know what that one is. I don't know. What are we looking at? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, no, let's pan over here. Yay. So they have some old Elvis uh, documentary on the TV that they play all day for you. And uh, I fully noticed how similar Lisa Marie looks just like him. Or at least did at one time. I was going to say back in the era when she was married to Michael Jackson. I don't follow her, so I don't know what she looks like now, but that definitely looks like her then. So. Anywho. Just finishing up our dinner. And there's nobody here but us at the moment. I'm sure we're just here at an... We, we came in at oddball time, so... On purpose, so it wouldn't be busy. Uh, um. All right, so we are done eating, and we're gonna take off now. They're playing Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley on the TV. But before I leave, I want to do one more walk through the bar. By the way, I'm laughing at the way they dance. <laughs> Not laughing, but just so different than today's <laughs> way they dance. Okay.
the number one booth. This is the booth, it's now empty. So I wanted to go back here and check out a better view of that poster that started it all. And it was this one apparently. So he started it with this poster, picture, framed artwork, and then just kept going crazy from there with everything he can. And, and like I said, he even ordained the ceiling with it. Ordained? No. Donned the ceiling? I don't know. Even the bar area's got little Elvis plates. Definitely recommend coming out here because it's on the main drag, main street of Garden Grove, California. All right, so now we're outside the Crooner's Lounge where the king lives. Cool. All right, so here's the front side of this restaurant. You can see Elvis here. And then if you notice, this is the Garden Grove Main Street. So actually it's it's very happening over here. There's a lot of stuff you can do, little shops and restaurants, coffee houses. Parking wasn't too bad. We lucked out though. We came on a on a Wednesday, you know, afternoon. It's not it's, it's kind of an offset day, so I don't know what the weekend's like here. Alright, thank you everybody for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely going to come back. Prices I were got decent, food. service was awesome. Yeah. And I food. love that eclectic looking artwork that's in this restaurant and so if you're not a fan of Elvis you will be after you leave this place so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and, all and stuff. I'm sure if you don't know who Elvis is I'm sure you can ask them all about I'm it sure because you'll know they'll Elvis know is once you walk in this door yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's right. a and plus don't forget to call him the king you'll know why if you go in there <laughs> all right thank you guys bye